Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about how to write our program in Visual Studio. So add your Visual Studio 2015 and 2017 support to our but to 2019 doesn't support our programming. So add your first to uh, click on the exe file. Here after you can uh, see add your data science and analytics. So if you select uh, this option here you get this FSR language support python or language support runtime for our development and account of microsoft r now here after the next thing is you can select all option but for our programming this three is the essential now after selecting this option for r you need to click add here download or modify so add here it's now start processing so this that i already installed in my visual studio so only visual studio 15 and 17 support okay so i'm just going to pause this and hereafter this is the microsoft visual studio now hereafter i'm going to show you how to write the code so fine hereafter new and here create the project and hereafter r is selected so I only uh, install our programming okay so that here our option install it's uh, sorry now here after let's skip the project name test and at this location where the file is going to install now here after click on ok so add here the file is now creating creating project test add here you can see escape dot r so at here this place you can write any kind of uh, r code so first i am going to print at here hello world so write print method and uh, in double code just write hello world now for execution you can select this option or you can go at your debug option also so it's now executing and here you can see three files for all our history and here you can see this is the output it's a displaying hello world okay and here this is the uh, file path now here you can try to or uh, this piece of code at this place also or if you want to add two numbers so just write seven plus eight so 15 it's a display like that you can subtract number so 9 minus 7 to its a display so this is the simplest way we can write our program in microsoft visual studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you now so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you